Trevor Mason, what are you doing with this? Yeah. Is this Karen's cup, Trev? Is this mm? Kate's cup? Yeah. Mm. Trev, don't be silly. Turn it off. Who's that over there? It's one of those Maori, one Maori in the world. All these he sticks and tongues out. Maori. I've got a really bad cold. <laughs> <laughs> You had a little Lipstick. snooze, Janet. <laughs> I think they're all right last night. <laughs> I'm not too bad, actually. Smile, too. More magic. More magic. <laughs> magic. <laughs> Is that the last one? Yeah. Have we showed? Yeah, see. Yeah. What was your favourite one, Katie? And Uncle Ian can do that. Hee haw, hee haw. Hello, you. Hee haw. There's two Which more, but I haven't read them yet because they're a bit complicated. No, no, no. Two more. There's two more, but I can't do them. For some... I can't understand them. Maybe Which was your favourite? Do it, Katie. The one. Who's just done that one? What about the egg one? That was a good one, wasn't it? The egg one. No. I didn't see the egg one. He <laughs> just died. I didn't see the egg one, no. Hocus Pocus, is it? The egg one. Yeah. Is it Hocus Pocus? Hocus Pocus. What about the egg one? Mm -hmm. Oh, should we do the magic wand? Yeah. One? The magic wand? Should we do the magic wand? Yeah. Alright. How old are your nephews then, Rob? How old are your two nephews? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How do we do the magic wand one? Can you remember? <laughs> Can you remember? Remember I let go? Ten minutes. Can I do the magic wand? Well, I'll have to sit over yeah. here, because if I, do, if I do the trick here... Just, if I'm no, I'm going to ask because two girls are on it. You've got to see this magic. What am I saying? Can't be magic what over magic? there. You can't do it over there. You've got to sit over here. You've got to sit over here. We've got, we got to do magic. We've got to be there. We've got to be there. So you take the chair. Why? Why has it got to be over there? I'm just going to watch this. Well, because it just has. It well, needs, um, just gives you the false fill. The sense of... Yeah. Give me the wand. Give me the wand. You sound like Uncle Len. 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 Yeah, that's David Blaine. David Blaine. The guy who done it, well, he had five envelopes. Well, I, we saw a programme, he was going all around the world, going up to people. And one of them was... Oh, that was... He had that to was probably learn, um, think of somebody's name, and they're thinking... And then he, like, had it sort of written on his chest. Yeah, that's David Blaine, yeah. Just amazing. No, the one with the cheque... The one with the cheque, he, he gets five envelopes. And he, said, he writes a cheque for £10,000 to this, this, this bar of like, they were stockbrokers. And he wrote a cheque out to one of them for £10,000. <laughs> yeah? And he said, right, well, he put the £10,000 cheque in one of the envelopes, all right, five. Karen. Put them under the table, put the five envelopes back. And he said to the guy, right, you push one of them envelopes towards me, and the other four you can have. If the cheque's in the other four, you can yeah. have it. You can have £10,000. So he pushed number three or whatever number it was, and it was one that had the ten thousand pound in. <laughs> every time he done, you know, like tossing the coin, things like that, he was getting it right every yeah. single time. The people were getting it wrong every single time. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. He can, he, he can read your mind. Does he? Does he? So he puts the envelope in, and he, the, one, the one he only pushes it. Does he? And he can keep the other four. So he's got to be somehow knowing. He can predetermine. Yeah, the envelope had numbers on. Yeah. One to five. He can predetermine what number he's going to pick for some. I don't know. I have. His power of suggestion get the guy to pick. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, the way he words it, he, he puts a number in your mind without you 